What's going on guys? Welcome to another one of Black Iron's Battles. Today we're going to do a one versus one quick battle for you guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and play live, so hopefully we'll get a good match. Uh, it won't take too long, and hopefully my opponent has a great computer and we can uh, just keep this going. So, uh, you know, you may hear some noises in the back. I've got this new puppy and he's making all sorts of noise, so hopefully you don't hear too many barks or whines or different different noises my uh, four month old puppy does not always go to sleep on time so it looks like we're facing off against the green skin oh and he's he's oh he okay so we'll go ahead and get this going pretty quick um against the green skins we'll take uh morger we'll go ahead and leave apocalypse vision and foe seeker we'll go ahead and add is stavarunas corruption we'll bring a gorbel go ahead and pull pull that we'll, we'll take foe seeker we'll just leave him a slaughterer's call Additionally, we'll go ahead and bring uh, Death Bray Shaman. Um, we'll put him. No, no chariot today. We'll go ahead and leave both of his abilities. We'll strip him down, way down. We'll just leave Fate of Buna and Spirit Leech. Let's see, we've got 25 seconds remaining. Go ahead and take four Best Score Herd. We'll take two Ungor Herd with shields, two Ungor Spearmen with shields, two of these. Gives us 1400. Now we've got 1000. Uh, for a thousand, we'll go ahead and let's take one group of Senegors with great weapons. And let's go ahead and pump pump some chevrons into these guys. And hopefully, hopefully this will this will be plenty. I mean, this isn't a great cavalry contingent, um, but since we do have the Chaos Poison Warhounds to go with them, hopefully together those will be able to take on, um, you know, just just uh, unless they've got two groups of Boar Boy Biggins, um, we should be able to do quite a lot of damage with just our our uh, cheaper cavalry that we have there okay so it looks like my opponent loaded up right away um and it looks like we are in the forest so um my opponent will probably i mean this is a pretty big map so let's go ahead and just set up set up first this line of best score herd we'll set them in the back here um we'll put these two units on either side let's go ahead and spread them out right here so we've got these Angor Spearmen over here on one flank. And I mean, you've, you guys have seen me do this a bunch of times by now if you're watching my videos. I always like to have some cheap Spearmen on the flanks or some Miners if I'm Dwarves. Um, I mean, a unit a unit on the flanks is just always so helpful. Um, we'll go ahead and put the Great Weapons over here. We'll make sure they're in the forest. Go ahead and put these uh, these Chaos Warhounds with him. We'll put Mortar right in the middle. We'll put the Bray Shaman in the back. And over here on one side, we'll keep the, the, the Gorbel. Let's go ahead and group all this up. We'll put them in group one. We'll put him in group two to keep him in the back. Put them together in group three. Okay, so that should be enough. We'll go ahead and let's get this party started. We'll start the battle. And uh, I mean, my, my buddy and my opponent here already had an army saved, obviously, because he started so quickly. So um, this will just be a, a great quick match. Um, hopefully I'll be able to hopefully I'll, I'll be able to use the mobility of my army um, the armor piercing of these elite bestigors and uh, we'll be able to hopefully tank some damage with these gore herd with shields up there in the front we'll be able to maneuver these uh, these ungor spearmen around the sides hopefully and uh, we'll just be able to do a ton of damage I mean it's always always super helpful to get Morgar. Um if we can get him into battle um, you can see here um, that it recharges if engaged in me melee. So if we can get him engaged, um, he'll get the Stavarunas Corruption, and that is just really helpful to bring up that that second group of uh, Chaos Spawn. I mean, you know, we should we should hopefully be able to hinge this battle on Chaos Spawn and use these Chaos Raiders or these Ungor Raiders, sorry, um, to to take out any any you know uh, large units that they may have like a giant or something. Oh, yeah So we'll, we'll be using these uh, Ungor Raiders on this Arachnoc Queen as soon as possible So it looks like uh, I don't see any other units. I mean we're pretty far away, but I'll go ahead and start moving up here Let's uh, let's go ahead and take the top of this hill here. We'll go ahead and move them slightly so they'll face around um, We'll we'll bring up the the caster here. We'll bring, put him in the back there um, and then we'll bring these cavalry units and we'll bring them around and we'll try to put them right in that forest so we'll make sure everyone's moving the cavalry is moving these guys are on we'll go ahead and make sure that they're on run 
And uh, let's go ahead and just get this battle started. We we definitely see that they have, uh, we'll see what they got. They definitely have a Hammer of Gork. They've got another Rock Lobber. They've got some Squig Herd here in the back. So, I mean, this definitely looks like the type of army you would take against the Dwarves. Um, with this, these Rock Lobbers and these Squigs, um, they're definitely going to be armor piercing. And they should be able to actually do quite a bit of damage to my uh, my best Gore Herd. Now, they will be overkill for the Spear Herd and for the Gore Herd. So, hopefully, I can, uh, I can get my weaker units engaged upon them. Um, oh, look at that. He does have some Wolf Riders. Those are ranked up. So, those have three Chevrons in them. And the main goal is going to get in here to these Rock Lobbers and to try to get engaged. Now let's go ahead and split them off. We're going to split them off and we're going to have them attack the Arachnid Cream. That's the first thing we're going to have happen. We want that to, we want them to just continue taking that Arachnid Queen down. We'll put Spirit Leech on it as well. Um, and we'll just do, do as much damage as we can to that motherfucker. Alright, let's keep moving in. You'll see here we're starting to get close. So we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and get engaged. All right, let's 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 watch this. We'll go ahead and use him in the back. We're going to put the Gorbo right on that, that Shaman there. We'll go ahead and get everything we can engaged. We're going to bring him around the back. Um, hopefully, look at that. He's got some Wolf Riders and some Squig Herd. Um, we'll see if we can do what we can. We'll bring them in here. Oh, he does have some Skulkers here hidden. Um, it looks like he's also summoned some Spiders. But that'll help us. That'll help us to be able to get a... Oh, watch this. We're going to get this Spirit Hood Essence of Chaos right off the bat on these Hatchlings. That should be able to help us out quite a bit. Um, they'll go down pretty quickly, I think. And we are starting to get damage on this Arachnorok Queen. Okay, here we go. Is it down yet? Is it... There we go. There we go. We'll go ahead and get that cast off. And we did. So we're going to slam right into there. Let's see if we what we've got over here. He's got all of these Squig Herd. We have broken two off. Let's see if we can break off the third. Um, but we are, we are doing just fine. We're still shooting. These Angor Raiders have been shooting at this Arachnar Queen the whole time. You'll see I do have another Spirit Leech ready. So we'll put that on that Queen. And we are going to get right up here into this mix. Um, we're going to... Oh, man. We're going to be able to do a ton of damage. He has gotten my Gorbo off, though. Um, which is not good for me, but these chaos spawn they should be able to do a bunch of damage. We're doing okay We've got our, our spearmen over here. We've got our best herd. These best herd are just I mean these nasty skulkers and stuff They would be a lot. I would be a lot better served if, if I was attacking something a little bit stronger um, Hopefully we can try to knock out these arrows. I mean We're starting to we're starting to break through and we're we're doing okay. So, I mean, I have, it looks like I have gotten routed off. These Senegors with great weapons are shaken. But I'm going to just keep charging in with those, those wolves. Um, we'll keep doing whatever we can. And we're going to continue to cast uh, uh, Spirit Leech on this, on this Arachnar Queen. If I can take that down, that's going to be a big, big win on my part. Um, just like if I can manage to, to take out all of these Hammer of Gork. He is just doing a ton of damage with that hammer. And I need to I need to get these warlords boys. I need to get all of these people off the table. Um, I need to get this this Gorbel back into action. But we are about to have this Savarunas corruption. I, oh, here we go. That's what I needed. So we're gonna bring them up right in the middle here. Let's get these spearmen to hopefully stop that before too long. We're gonna continue to take out this hammer of Gork. Let's see if we've got anything here in the back. Those are broken. Um, let's see a charge in here on these nasty skulkers. Do we have any units here in the back? We do. So we're going to try to bring these in. Um, we'll go ahead and bring these in also. And let's go ahead and get these guys shooting again. We haven't had them shooting in quite a while. It looks like they've been chased off. Um, I'm going to start taking some hits, man. This is not great for me. Um, we just need to... <laughs> but luckily for me, Morgur is very, very strong. So the balance of power is actually surprisingly still in my favor. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to charge in on this Night Goblin Shaman. I'm going to try to keep Mortar alive while I get all of these units back battle. So, I mean, I, it looks like, I mean... Oh, man, where is my units? There is a group over here. We'll go ahead and have them charge in. We're going to get these units back into place. I mean, we've got, we've got both of my Orngor Raiders that are fighting. 
Go ahead and use that. Let's go ahead and see if we can't... Oh, man. I would really like to get rid of at least a few of these units. Um, I really need to get Morgur the hell out of there. Oh man, Morgur has been routed off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get this Ragnarok Queen down. And Morgur is still alive though, so it's not over yet. I'm gonna, I mean, the balance of power is just dead in the middle. I'm gonna keep charging in. These Bestigor Herd are just, I mean, they keep getting routed off. I really, really was hoping, I mean, if I just get a few more sh shots off on this Ragnarok Queen. Um, oh man, these Bestigor Herd have broken. All right, well, where can I put Fate of Buna? Maybe I can put Fate of Buna on something. Let's let's put it on the Ragnarok Queen. I just try to do whatever I can to get him down. All right, let's go ahead and get get him into place. We're gonna get them fighting. I mean, it's, it's, there's just oh man, it is not looking good for me. He is able to get into my groups of uh, Ungor Raiders. I mean, he has just had a ton of units going back and forth. These Bestigor Herd are off chasing people. I don't even know what they're doing. I was broken. If Morgur had uh, been able to, to pull another, not just one more group out of his ass, um, I think that would have helped me. But it does not look like I'm going to be able to, to pull even even a single, <laughs> a single group out. I mean, I've got just these Bestigor Herd. Look at the balance of power. It's definitely no longer in my favor. And I mean, I was just, I spent way too much time and effort getting those Ragnar Queen. As much shit as I talked about those Squig Herds, um, they were definitely able to uh, to deal more than effectively with my Senegors. Um, and I mean, they were definitely, once the, uh, the second half of the battle came into play, they were definitely able to do a ton of damage to these, uh, these Bestigors. I mean, I, I am going to take them down here. It would be super great if I could, you know, get up another group of Chaos Spawn or something, but... I mean, it looks like I'm... I'm oh, man. I mean, 390 the Rock and Rock Queen has. Morgur's only got 500. Even though, he, I mean, he's going to heal himself. He was actually just killed. And that was just a great battle to my opponent. Alright, so look at that. I was able to get 200 kills with that unit of best score herd. 80 with this group. Um, but, I mean, he was just, he had units all over the place. He deployed 1,300 units. If you look here, um, I just wasn't able to get to those, the Skarsnik and Night Goblin Shaman. I mean, they were able to take my Gorbel off the field. I did not even see that coming. If you look here, those Squig Herds, I mean, they were the real stars. They were able to take out my mobile units here. And I mean, without, but without this Ragnarok Queen, I don't think he would have been able to pull off this victory. I mean, this was a ton of health. Um, for all the units, he was 55 with this Nasty Skulkers. I mean, 62 with the Black Orcs. Um, you know, these units of Nasty Skulkers cost as much as the Black Orcs, and they were able to get a lot of kills. Um, the Night Goblins were able to get a ton. I mean, he was just able to, to spread it all apart. I mean, all of these goblins he had. It's a fun thematic Skarsnik army. It was a great game to my opponent and uh, well played. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Um, this is Black Iron. I would appreciate it so much if you would subscribe below. I've been uh, trying my best to get some great content for you guys and I really hope you're enjoying it. Uh, thank you all so much. And this has been another one of Black Iron's Battles.